Well, after that, here we go for the final match out of 15 here at the Medeski Stadium. Hove Park School from the Brighton area against, guess who, Thomas Telford, yeah. yet again, in the under-14 Open Schools Cup. Let's have a quick look at the teams. We've got the opportunity. Hove Park School, number one, Jacob Ulterson. Number two is Chris Symes. Three is Nick Darienso. Four is Callum Creighton. Five is Joe Law. Six, Matt Richards. Seven, Stan Musiol. Eight, Janeji. Janeji, that's an interesting uh, name. Not a misspelling, I'm, I'm sure. Hayden Roberts is nine. Callum Jenkins, ten. And Zaid Abul Hilal, eleven. Mark Pulling is the manager. As for Thomas Telford. Jackson Smith in is one, Samuel Edwards two, three is Zach Hartley, four is Luke Ward, five Ryan Millington, six is Jack Glover, seven is Thomas Paul, eight Kean Fenlow, nine Jermaine Turner, ten is Taylor Gardner Hickman, and eleven is Liam Tarafa, the captain. Jez Thomas is the manager. Players are coming out. Fervently enjoyed those last two games. Thomas Telford, well, they're in the gold again. And uh, these players, they've had to wait a little while. With, uh, in fact, they've caught up time. As you can see, the rain is piling down there. John Scales is with me. He's uh, we have a present throughout this whole event. It was nice to work with a professional for a change there with Clive. <laughs> Don't underestimate your uh, your ability by any means, but <laughs> hey, they don't come uh, any better than Clive Tilsley. I was uh, oh, no. quite honoured to work with him there. That was that was fantastic. Hairs yeah, on the back of the neck moment, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's good. He's like he's uh, such a legend in broadcast commentary, isn't he? And over so many years, with the BBC, ITV covered. I don't know how many World Cups, European Championships, yep. Champions League finals. Absolutely. So it was a real privilege to be uh, sat alongside him and. There's not many voices, is there? Where, you know, you go, you know, that's Martin Tyler, that's yeah. Clive, that's Brian Moore. Here are the substitutes by Roy Kane, Azubi, Lewis Stewart, Dylan Miller, Yezin Abul Hilal, who's definitely a brother of the other Abu Hilal that we saw. I would, I would hedge a guess. I would hedge a guess as well. <laughs> Law Lawson, Billingsley, Adam Miller, Josh Garrington, Nathan Goodfellow, and Gareth Effion. Excellent news for you, John. Your embarrassment on the crossbar challenge, I think, is going to have to wait another oh, no. year. Weather and uh, also the fact that we had that injury earlier on um, to the Westfield player. And uh, the fact we also have to go through at half time, we have got the goal and save of the season. Uh, save of the season, save of the festival yeah. um, to come through. So, um, unfortunately, the rain is absolutely. Po I don't think I fancy it out there. Well, there's a rainbow somewhere around here, isn't there? Look at the sun shining, so the rain pouring down. Yeah. One of our cameramen might be able to get a great shot of a rainbow. Yeah, must be one somewhere around here. We've had everything, haven't we? <laughs> Beautiful sunshine Monday. Yeah. Cloudy and a bit cold and <laughs> okay yesterday. Rain, sunshine, all sorts of We've not had the snow yet, but uh, we had that a couple of weeks ago. Referee is Peter Shepherd. Assistant referee is Peter Gibbons, Alan Carrington with Nick Hall, the fourth official. Uh, fascinating talking to the to, to the ladies uh, after that. And, you know the fact that th this is a that was a club level, that was a school level girls match, which yeah. you know the quality was so much, you know, was so good. Yeah. Considering this is a school match rather than the county matches, where you know you're going to get some real good players coming through. Yeah. That was quite incredible. And Lisa Trigg actually, the St Ivo uh, manager, just said, look, you know. Thomas Telford actually deserved to win that, and yeah. uh, even though it was a bit gut wrenching and <laughs> terrible at the end for us, uh, they were so mag magmanous in defeat, weren't they? Yeah, but they did appreciate just how good Thomas Telford were. It's a cruel way to go out and lose the trophy, but yeah, great humility shown by them, and that's off to them for that in, the, in those moments of disappointment in the end. But well, this should be a cracker. Yes, um, it's the under 14 Open Schools Cup. So uh, earlier on, we had the under-14 Schools Cup final. And uh, in that one, Hove Park lost to Ashcombe in round six. In uh, sort of much later on, just around before the quarterfinals, three, three goals to two. Thomas Telford, they lost in the Schools Cup in the semi-final to Westfield, which is round nine. 
two goals to nil. So, interesting, uh, Thomas Telford nearly made the final of the other competition. What a, well, that's incredible, isn't it? They, they did the double in the under-16s, yep. they were double runners-up in the under-15s, they were in the final of this, and they were semi-final losers in the under-15s, <laughs> under-14s. You know, they're dominating boys' football at the moment. And hats off to the uh, coaching staff. You know, there's a lot of people saying it. A bit unfair to have so many teams, and I think it's a little bit embarrassing for Thomas Telford. They've sort of said that as much this week. They uh, they don't want it to be awkward. Yeah. But at the same time, you've got to just say hats off to them. Well, that's a very interesting opener. I've not seen that for quite a long time. As a sort of uh, almost a rugby union style, three players on the right hand side. Yeah, he's got to take that back, the referee. Yeah, he wants to nip, nip that sort of thing in the bud early on. Started at frenetic pace, <laughs> but uh, just lay down the marker. You won't tolerate. Oh, yes, uh, that's OK. You know, you get away with that, but it was just a charge down the keeper. Yeah, I think uh, stumping a bit of authority on this offside. No, a little nudge. Jermaine Turner just. This is there the one is on the Jermaine keeper. Turner just coming through and clutching into the keeper. And I think if the referee lets that go, then it sort of sets the tone for the next sort of five Absolutely. minutes. So, does right, shows he's the boss. The players themselves have a little look at each other and go, oh, hold on a minute, you know, it's open, open, open field today. Well, it was nice to have a rest, but it's good back to be back in the hot seat again with yourself. I bet you were glad to get away from me, weren't you? <laughs> Well, I managed to go through the uh, goals and saves of the season. Hopefully, you're, you're going to appreciate my judgment as much as I appreciated yours on player of the match. So, <laughs> no, you haven't had any input on the final few, although you will be deciding. I think yeah. I know what you're going to call for. But I think I've started to get inside your head a little bit. Uh, as to what <laughs> Have <appreciate>. you? I've <laughs> only <laughs> well, known you three days. <laughs> Got themselves in a bit of trouble there, Hove Park. It was a little tug. Just pulling back, and the referee could have given a free kick. Anyway, they've averted the danger for now. Play that out for a throw in. As Telford will want to get back on the offensive. They've both started lively, both these teams. Probably been here for a while. Kicking off, what, 20 minutes later than probably anticipated, so. Participation in the holding area and the warm-up zone and everything else is a chance. Yep. Good covering by the fullback. Well, they had a big semi-final against Plymouth overnight. Played in front of a, a, a big crowd at Ivy Bridge School and won that match final of three. Uh, as, you know, we're, we're watching some cracking finals here, but reading the reports from the, the teams. And, and just seeing some of the scores, you know, Westfield 2, Telford, no, you know that was going to be a cracking match, two really good teams, and, uh, you know, there's, there's good football played all year round. It's PlayStation Schools Cup. Clearance there from Telford. Brighton and Hove kicking from uh, right to left, and uh, another little pullback there by the number six, Matt Richards, who shows a little bit of uh, disdain towards the official. Ref's going to have a word. Yeah. Liam Arthur. Just getting away. Look back, referee's busy. Opening minutes. Yeah. Seems a lot to have happened in the opening three and a half minutes of this game. Lots of action, <laughs> lots of incidents. Yeah. Long ball up, flicked on. And too straight. Collect. Yeah, too straight, the free kick. <laughs> Done well to make something happen from that, I think. Way out of his box when he kicks that. 72 teams uh, entered this competition. This is uh, sort of a uh, select competition where the, the best teams enter, you could say. Nice skills here. Nick the ball off and Thomas Telford regain possession. 14, Liam Tawatha, the captain, comes in on his right foot. Looks for options. Tom Telford have three men in the box. Here's one on the far post. Just couldn't collect that. Jermaine Turner. Well, could he have nodded it down to Thomas Poole? 
Thomas Poole broke into the box. I don't think he was going to really get a touch on this. He wanted to try and bring it down. A bit high, wasn't it? Tough, yeah. I've got one. Looking at past results, uh, round one was a bye for Hove Park School. Round two, they won 4-3 after extra time against Dorothy Stringer School, also out of Brighton. In round three, it was a 7-2 home win against Tunbridge Wells Grammar School for Boys. Round four, a 7-0 victory over Langdon Acad Academy of Newham. And, uh, we'll go back to the keeper. In round five, it was a 5-1 home victory over Farlingay High School of Ipswich. In round six, semi-final was a 5-3 victory, as we said earlier, against Ivy Bridge Community College. Uh, an away trip to Plymouth, an overnight stay, no doubt. Expensive little uh, meanders, uh, this, this, uh, this school's cup trail, isn't it? A lot of time devoted to these matches. And Thomas Telford have got a, a lot of people supporting, but certainly they've come up the road from Brighton, uh, what's that, about an hour and a half perhaps to get to Reading? Not too bad at all. Yeah. Slightly longer than that. Get round 25, I suppose. Is a free kick, Callum Jenkins. I said it took, took two hours to get up to Wimbledon. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it may be longer. Depends on the M25, isn't it? It's an asterisk every time. Here's, uh, here's Roberts. Good skills. Goes out left. Uh, across just uh, sliding out of play. Thomas Telford. Let's uh, have a look at uh, their results to get through to this final. As I said, they uh, in the Under-14 Schools Cup, which is the main competition with nearly 700 teams in it, they just lost in the semi-final to Westfield. So they played nine rounds of matches there. <laughs> it's uh, quite phenomenal, isn't it, to... Uh, yeah. Think of how many matches these teams have played. Out of play. So in the first round, they uh, they went to Bishop Haber High School of Chester, won three nil away from home. Second round, it was away from home at the Heath School of Halton, seven one victory there. Another away trip to Shevington High School of South Cheshire, and nine one victory there. Round four, it was a home win against Northampton School for Boys. But they, you know, they're one of the teams as well. They're one of the schools that have got a, a real pedigree. They've had a number of finalists. We've seen them here. We're in fact, beating Thomas Telford here in the under 15s uh, schools event. In round five, it was a 2 0 extra time win over Crompton House School of Oldham. And in the semi final, a 1 0 victory away from home going to St Francis Xavier's College of Liverpool. So. They've had some tough matches getting here. There's an extra time and a couple of very tight results. And it's almost a little bit sad here that we're, we're coming to, towards the end. It's been an absolutely thoroughly enjoyable festival, hasn't it, John? It's been remarkable. I mean, last year we were fortunate to be here as well. And that was special. Is there a foul there? Yeah, just leaning in, gaining an unfair advantage. No, I thought last year was fantastic and almost that couldn't be top, but these these three days have been a pleasure to be here again be involved in watching outstanding games outstanding talent i don't think there's been any issues that you look back and think no you know, it hasn't been played in the spirit that we wish it would was it's been terrific three days i think even the only time there was a little bit of uh, feistiness going on and you know at the end of the match the team shook hands they waved at the opposition crowds you know it, it was very good natured Here's number seven, Thomas Poole for Thomas Telford. He's a very short player on the pitch, but he's, uh, you know, the short players always remember. Did you ever play against Gianfranco Zola? You must have done yep, in your time. Yep, yeah, I hate and, uh, to play against how, Zola. You know, he was, Ooh. what, four foot seven or something? He was ridiculously small. <laughs> he was. But he'd, he'd run oh. between your legs. And yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a great player. And had an incredible turning set. You know, he would he would be, he would just turn and go yeah. directly. Yeah. Um, you know, and he, if it looks good on TV, then it's usually really good, isn't it? Well, the match has started to settle down after some of the early uh, high intensity action. And this is uh, the ball is zipping around here. It is a very wet surface. The sun is out for a little while. The pitch is certainly uh, muddying up. I think the groundsman's. Uh, it's a good job he's probably on holiday. Because <laughs> if he was look, watching this, I think he'd be pulling his hair out. This beautiful pitch he's been looking after all well, season. Most grounds now, they 
They'll have 10 days, two weeks at the end of the season where they have all the sponsor events, tournaments held, special match days. One time they can just let the pitch go, yeah. have a breather from the relentless side of having to keep it immaculate for <laughs> league games. He's just got to deal with this, and he does in the end. Used to play the odd game, John, you know, for old Liverpoolians or anything like no, that? No, I would love to play, but my uh, calves, I'm afraid, packed up Finished. well with the cause of me uh, ultimately finishing playing, although I had a long career, it was fine, but you run. No. I can keep fit in the gym and do the sort of low intensity stuff. As soon as I get out of the pitch, I might last five minutes or I might last 50 minutes. I've got no <laughs> idea. So when, run, when running, you know, Reza Ruddock never really ran much, did he, when he <laughs> played? But <laughs> it's, uh, that's your game. Here's uh, Zach Hartley. All Weinsman, <laughs> not sure. Oh, they looked at each other. There's a little. I love the way the referee sort of has that finger that thinks yeah. nobody's going to see that pointing that way. <laughs> the linesman's looking at him. He points the other way. You know, you're inside my head there. You know, that brilliant. is one of my funny little things. As if we're not going to yeah. see that. Yeah. Everybody brilliant. sees. <laughs> Unfortunately, the linesman can't really do that, can he? Everybody's looking at the linesman for a decision. Yeah. Yeah. You can't sort of just you know, wink in one direction or uh, raise an eyebrow or something. They were wired up, we could have a little chit, chit chat, we'd never know. Here's a partly again. <laughs> he gets a touch here, he's in. Yeah, there's a man free here. If he can hold this in, ball. keep it in. He's kept it in. Trevatha. Good cross in. There's a man in on oh. the post. Oh my goodness. Well that was Thomas Poole again. He was the <laughs> smallest player on the pitch by a mile. Yeah, and he, he, maybe if he was tall, he could have possibly even got something on that. Yeah, I thought he'd overcooked this one. Driven yeah. into the corner, but he does well. Digs it out and just can't get on the end of it. A little bit of a slip. Telford, yeah. Chance. Someone put pressure on Gardner Hickman. Comes inside. Right. Yeah, he's frustrated, but he. Main Turner. Gets the ball out into space, tries to wrap his foot around it. So easy to slice those ones. Telford coaches again, they've been busy. I don't know if you saw them when uh, they scored the equalising goal, they were in a little huddle down there and jumping up and down. We couldn't Man. believe how excited they were. They threw caution to the wind, pushed people up. Here's cross from Tarafa. Thomas Telford certainly starting to, to boss this match. After some of the early uh, intensity stuff, now we're just starting to settle down and Thomas Telford is starting to put a stamp on this game. Hartley, a lot of play down this left-hand side. Here's yep. Hickman. Lots of space down the right there as well. Edwards, lovely floated cross in. It's a few players. Stop the corner, no. First corner, Thomas Telford. Lovely little ball this. Yeah. Just dinks it up there. Body's back there, but none of them can get a really decent contact on the ball. Really like that from Samuel Edwards. Taylor Gardner Hickman gets the ball back. He's going to put in a dangerous ball towards the back post. Shave a pair of hands from the goalkeeper, Jacob Olkerson. Clicked up field very quickly. Zach Hartley under pressure. And now, corner to Hoven. Uh, Signal. Yeah. There he is Arms again. In the air. What does that mean? Back post, near post? He means back post. Drilled almost on the diagonal towards the penalty spot and beyond. Go. In the near post. Another corner. Callum Jenkins. One hand. Oh, right. Shaking the hands Four, up and five, down. Five, five ups in the air. Yeah. Okay. Well, they've got plenty of men in here. Seven men in the box. <laughs> oh, well, they've all suddenly just run into the six yard. That sound means he's going to go in the mixer. 
Hayden Roberts watches that ball out. Did you ever have many codes when you yeah, played? Yeah, loads of codes. International Liverpool, yeah? Yeah, Wimbledon especially loved a code. Oh, we I did. can't imagine. <laughs> Sid was one. I remember the early days when Sid. I first got there. If you get, you've got to pick up Sid on these uh, set pieces, which meant we're going to step up for offside. Right. So if you were marking Sid, and <laughs> obviously there wasn't a Sid, but <laughs> then everybody had to rush up as soon as they were going to take the ball and take the free kick. No danger. The, the first minute you sell a player to somebody else, and he takes yeah. that with him, and it, it gets out uh, everybody. Yeah, they would. They knew if they left the club, you wouldn't break the code of Wimbledon. You know that. <laughs> but you get a knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> good little challenge here. Good. Oh, that's good play. Lovely tackle from number five, Joe Law. Yeah. Taylor Gardner Hickman uh, didn't seem to appreciate it, well, but I'm uh, so sure he followed through a little bit. I, I don't know. I'm being a bit cynical. Thomas Paul He's there. Kian Fenland. Benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Out wide to Sam Edwards. It's a lovely play. What well, is a beautiful cross in? Really enjoying this Thomas Telford uh, passing in along. It's uh, really high quality football, and that's a ball over the top. There's been a gamble here. The keeper's come out, and he's gone wide. What a chance for Callum Jenkins. Well, sometimes a long ball does do it, doesn't it, John? Well, it does. I think it's Zaid Abu Hilal. Had a great chance, he was always going to get there first. And I think in his mind he's thinking, do I have a touch past the keeper and past them all? Yeah, I Dobson think he must have been in, in yeah. two minds. Yeah. And in the end he, he didn't do either. He may have been thinking, look, I can touch this. And then and then he and then, saw the defender coming on his left yeah. side and realised that he was, he'd be better, but it was almost too late. And in the end he did, he did a bit of both. Six. Back in the line for Hove Park at the back there. I know they're dropping deep, number six. Yeah. Matt Riches sort of plays in front of the back four at times. And goalkeeper's got a long kick. This is a lovely control here from Turner. That was nearly ironic, wasn't it? A tackle from Callum Creighton. Is when you get all the bodies back there, then who takes responsibility? Who's going to come and win that? Yeah. None of them do. Joe Law was the one who tried to take the initial. Header. It's a beautiful cross in for Paul, who is offside. I he has put his flag up. Well, how many times have we seen him get in? Yeah. Thomas Paul just drifting in again. Sneaks in, doesn't he? Under everybody's radar. Sneaky little player. I like him. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's got something about him, hasn't he? You yeah, can he has. see. That was a lovely touch. Far away either. Yeah, Very it wasn't close. far away at all. See there, Matt Riches in Hove Park. He sits in front of the back four. Then play a sort of a 4 1 3 2 or yeah. 4 1 4 1 times. We're seeing a lot of teams playing this 4 1, aren't they? With, with yeah. one in front now. The, what I called the Claude McAuley position for those who yeah. are old enough to remember who he was. Quite incredible looking at some of these kids and looking at date of births over 2000 now. Just <laughs> hold on a minute. Oh, listen, there was a um, player who made his debut the other day who was born in the in the year 2000. In the Premier League? Premier League or Championship. championship. I, I, I've got a feeling it was the Premier League. I just I read it and was like, wow. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, time stops at no one. Thomas Telford again, Taylor Gardner Hinkman. Yeah. Out. Barfer, the captain, decides to go back this time. Ryan Millington. There's space out on the wings. You can see that the, the sort of Brighton team are quite compressed in the middle, yeah. leaving the wings oh, uncovered. Telford are using them well. Gardner Hickman. It's another attempt. A lovely cross in and pull. Pull flicks on. Oh. What a goal! Jermaine Turner. Puts the ball into the back of the net, and the smallest man on the pitch wins the header on the edge of the six-yard box. And you've got to say, Thomas Telford deserved this. John. Well, look at this. Digs the ball out brilliantly. And who's there at the near post to flick it on? The big fella. <laughs> and there he is. Wonderful. Jermaine Turner. Well, can't believe it, can he? He leaps at least four for eight. Flicks it on. 
Very nice. No, he does very, very well. And he's taken up some great positions, Thomas Poole. And he's always been the danger. They haven't really sussed it out. He's coming from the right-hand side. He came across the near post. Go again, there's four the men on Turner the... just realised that he could hold out. But bodies up here, Hove Park. I'd just like to see it again. Was it... I think it was Luke Ward, if I remember back in that first. He had an amazing, great touch to play it out wide, yeah. left. Yeah. Really was a lovely touch. Great flick. Isn't dealt with. Got to be dealt with better by the defender. Sorry to say that I think Darienzo should have done better. Should have read the situation in between him and the keeper. Always tricky. That's what the defenders are there for, to make those decisions. Cove, uh, they have this sort of formation. They're happy to let the ball go out wide, aren't they? They're, they're defending sort of 18-yard box in that in that channel in the middle. Yeah. And they're letting Telford play it out wide. And, of course, Thomas Telford, have, you know, they're, they're, they're getting a lot of possession. They're swinging the ball in. See a change here from Hove Parks trying to do something about it because here we are again on the left side to offer the ball isn't so good this time, but he was in acres of space on the left. It gives a thumbs up for the attempted crossfield ball. Pretty good ball. Knocked into that near post. No matter how tall you are, if you're the only man there and Mark and somebody in front, you can flick it on. Absolutely. He well, looks a really bright, intelligent player. Thomas, Thomas Paul is so busy, isn't he? Yeah, he's busy he's, and industrious and making something. things happen. But the whole yeah. team do. They look like they've got a real buzz and energy about them. I think it was the move of the match as well. Go again. Here's Taylor Gardner Hitman. He's running into too much traffic there. Just couldn't get the ball out of his feet, fortunately for him. Both part, high foot. Yeah, it was a bit reckless, wasn't it? Kian Fenland this time being the guilty party. Yeah, the referee's not having that. I think you would um, you would say in the pro game, he's, you know, he's he's, <laughs> he's he's taking one for the team there. He, he's aware that Thomas Telford had quite a few players up front on that attack, and uh, was conscious that if he got beaten, there, there was going to be a bit of trouble behind him. Yeah, maybe so. I think the, the adrenaline's pumping for the players. I think that was more the wanting to get really stuck into the game and get a tackle, seeing a ball there that was there to be won in his eyes. It, it, it was, but not with feet at four, four feet off the ground. Callum Jenkins hits the long ball. But he's high again. Play on. He says play on, you've got the ball. He had it. Here's Jenkins again. Fresh from taking that free kick. And uh, Roberts goes down. I'm sure there was contact there. We need to... A look at that, but the referee is the important person, and he saw something. Now is an opportunity, and uh, Park going to throw a few up. It actually, could put one more man up if he wanted to. There's three at the back against one. Got six on the edge of the box here, Hove Park. Thomas Telford have put a three-man wall in from that distance. I don't know if we're a bit concerned that uh, seen him uh, with some of his kicks, and he does have the shot, and it's as well there, that could have been a nasty little bounce. That's a bit disappointing in the end, straight at the goalkeeper. Need to be going, if he was doing that, to really set the line out to be bending in the far corner. Then that is awkward for the keeper to deal with. It gives the players that have gone up an opportunity to get across their defender. The goalkeeper's caught in two minds, isn't he? Yeah. Well, in, uh, in about 15 minutes or so time, we'll be seeing a few cracking goals that we've seen this week. We have our goal of the festival as well as our save of the festival to come. There's an interesting ball in, and well, it was uh, Nick Dorenzo who had a chance there to get a foot on the ball. That could have been interesting if he'd have controlled that. Hartley, it's it on. The head tennis here, Truafa. He, uh, he's uh, been 
heavily involved in many of the plays down this left-hand side. Of Park, come forward. Here's Junaidi. It's the throw to Thomas Telford. The utter disgust of the dugout coach down here on the sidelines. Not too happy there. I think. Uh, and the Hove Park coach is uh, complaining about the throw, and I think uh, Stelford coaches weren't too happy with a, a strong challenge that went in a while ago. Careful, that's our car. Gave Jack, uh, Jack Peace, our cameraman down there, a bit of a wake up. Had a tough time, he's been getting soaked all day. <laughs> been asleep for the last three hours, <laughs> standing up. No. He has done a remarkable job, all the cameramen around here. You Good bunch, yeah. You run a good good ship. To be honest, it's been Come a on. pleasure to work with the whole team at 24-7. Come on, Jenkins. That's the swinging ball in on the back post. Oh, what an opportunity. And I'm not sure if Nick Dorenzo actually expected I agree. that coming through to him in the end. He thought there may have been a header just in front. We'll see this again. Well, that's brilliant, isn't oh. it? And there's three of them queuing up. Thomas Telford caught napping. Yeah, Zaid Abu Hilal there just uh, puts his hand out and sort of offers an apology. He realizes that he actually put his own man off. He could have not even gone for that ball. Yeah. And weirdly, Nick Dorienzo just had a side foot. And yeah, this is an interesting formation this. here. You'll see this as the goal kick comes in. There's one man in the middle, six men way back. It's like a, a, a 6 1 3 formation from the goal kick. And uh, John's. Uh, it's a little bit dumbstruck by it, but they, are, they do do things a little bit unusually, the Hove Park team. We saw from the kickoff. Here's a chance now. Callum Jenkins, he'll swing this in. He's got a dangerous left foot. It's just a bit short. Arthur comes away with it. Oh, bodies in the box. They're getting forward in numbers. Enzo, good play from the left back. It's a trouble. Ooh. And that's. Uh, Solid challenge. Well, I think the referee might go to the card here more than it's I think one of those where it's the reaction. I'm not sure if it was that. We'll have a look at the replay. Look worse in slow motion, I think. It's one of these. Yeah. It's not often they look worse in slow motion. <laughs> we do in real time it, it actually didn't look that bad. Let's have a look at this again. We we do cover a lot of rugby and we've noticed in fact, you know, TMO people have, have you know sort of remarked that oh that is nasty. Yeah. You really see it. I there, thought I didn't you? see the kick actually. Yeah. It was the kick onto the shins. Yeah, and it's high as well. That's going to be a deserved yellow card for Luke Ward. Taught me a lesson, didn't it? <laughs> no, I didn't see the kick. I saw the bodies coming together, and yeah. I thought they just the momentum had taken them in. But actually, the the tackle was reckless and mistimed and high. Good game this is, and, and good to see that Hove Park have stepped up after going behind. And there's a floated ball in from Jenkins, they've got plenty of bodies in the box, seven men in. Nady. But shows off a few skills, wins the throw. Good defending again. Ryan Millington. Zach Hartley's been down there. We had a sort of a tough job to do in this left back spot. Gary Enzo has come all the way from left back. So you've got to assume he's got a bit of length on the throw. Stayed at home with uh, that was a particularly good throw. There's, there's a big gap now at left back here. Thomas Pools making a big sprint forward and here's Turner. Jermaine Turner's got one to beat. He's got so many on the overlap. Thomas Pool. Oh. Wow, there was three players running through and that was an incredible stop there. Number 11. Oh, it's so Callum Jenkins, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. It's Callum Jenkins. Right, number ten. Yeah. Gets back and well, phenomenal work, really, because there were three players who were through. Hit us again. I mean, his favourite to get back there in the end. But if you take it back, the lovely little ball reversed in, and he's made up a lot of ground. Incredible that ground being covered there by Jenkins. Literally, there were three players through, and 
he just got his head down and motored, so partly with the throw. Abu Hilal it's out to Hartley again. Here's Thomas Paul. Lovely ball inside. Gardner Hickman. Hickman, he's got two on the outside. He's going to go all his way, all the way himself. Out to Paul. T Jermaine Turner loses out, but he's gone to the right back, Sam Edwards. A little bit of respite here. Jenkins plays a lovely attempted ball into the corner, but it's uh, going to be too much on that. Yeah, it was a shame. It was the right idea. Five minutes to go in this first half. Blown by. Telford lead. Single goal. Turner looking to hunt this one down. He's been busy himself. That's a good tackle from Callum Creighton. Just look at this uh, move again. If uh, yeah, just look at the work that he puts in here. Number ten. This is the move. There's the number ten now in his own half. Yep. And he realizes. Looks They're to his left. Forward, and that was the point. He thought he was going to go down. Cuts inside. Is back in. Yeah. Back to live action. Ball's just gone too long. It's uh, gone out for a goal kick. Miss anything there? But that was interesting to see. Uh, you know the work he put in. Realising his defence were in trouble because he's uh, he's actually an attacking midfield role. Yeah. You can see he's gone up to the forward. So we were talking about Matt Riches, number six, sitting in front of the back four. They come and there from he Jenkins. is, yeah. yeah, in an advanced role. The reason for the, for applauding him for that effort there. Yeah, Thomas Telford, much more traditional, four-four-two. It's been a fun week here. I haven't, I haven't even got a PS4 goodie bag, can you believe? Have you not? I haven't got a hand. I need one of these hands for my little boy, actually. I've got to get I've down got everything there. in the car. <laughs> We're a bit slow. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Okay. Uh. Click on. Ball's played out wide. There's a bit of a foot chase here between... Jenkins again, who seems to be absolutely everywhere in this match. Very busy. And uh, Liam Matop, Chihuahua, the captain. Telford. Hello. Park. Coach. Point red top. Late to the team, strip on the pitch at all. Enzo. It's come over again, hasn't he, for that long throw? The long crossfield job to get back into position. It hasn't really threatened so far. It hasn't has really it? threatened at all, has it? I don't think they've worked that one out yet to their advantage. Kick. Thomas Telford leading one goal to nil. Just a few minutes to go in his first half. The bounce completely deceiving everybody, and his Turner. And oh my goodness, goalkeeper just changed his mind. But Wayne Turner thought he was in there. Yeah, it's Taylor Gardner Hickman just getting the first ball, able to lift it over with a bounce. And I think, to be honest, Jermaine Turner almost sort of gave up when actually had he just carried on the keeper had got himself in a real muddle he knew he was on the edge of the box and going out yeah. Look they're Ward. deserving of this 1-0 win they've really started well haven't they here's the little lift over goalkeeper comes out and suddenly realizes he's got to head it kick it back to life Whoa. Turner did he touch it is that a free <laughs> kick Hartley Hartley looks to go himself, runs into a blue wall. Final minutes of this uh, first half. Don't think there's been any injuries that I can think of. Possibly, uh, possibly the one, the yellow card. Yeah, shouldn't be too much stoppage time. Chris Symes at Hove Park. Got a Europa League final to uh, think about, <laughs> so come on, ref. 
It's a good race, those two. Yes, it's quite a big match uh, for English football tonight. AFC Wimbledon. Let's have a little look at this. Does he touch it? I think he touches it. See, but he's know, possibly on. Yeah. Got to give him the benefit of the doubt, haven't you? AFC Wimbledon, Accrington Stanley. That tonight as well. Play Plymouth in the final at Wembley, the League Two playoff final. There's another club from somewhere up north that made yes. it through to a playoff final. I can't remember their name. RTLs, <laughs> here we go. Here's a chance for Gardner. Oh, oh it's just, just wide. pulled wide. Gardner Hickman showing he's got a left foot when needed. It's a chance. Well, they have been in the ascendancy, haven't they? It'll be interesting to see what the Hove Park coach says to his players about the system, about the setup. I think we've seen a board from the, the fourth official down below. Oh, and there's another ball over the top. Turner's in again. It's three on two. Oh, That's a heavy, heavy touch. Smash. How many times have we seen that this week? Just in that moment when you need that composure, heavy touch. But, you know, I was talking before to the St Ivo coach. He devastated, but he was just saying that, you know, one thing he did say at half-time when against the run of play, sorry, Thomas Telford, that if there's no pressure on the ball, well, there we go. you cannot afford to stand up and push up from the back, leave those spaces. And over have done that too much in the first half. It is Thomas Telford with the lead at 1-0. Absolutely. And uh, I think they deserve the, the lead. Here is the goal. Wonderful play on the left. They, they were so dangerous on the wings. Yeah. They come from Paul and Turner. Yeah, well, he capitalised on the mistake by Nick Darienzo. Letting that one go. Had to get something on it. So the half-time score here in the Medeski Stadium. It's uh, Thomas Telford leading by one goal to nil at half-time. Great defending. I think we're seeing hail here, actually. This well, it must be. Absolute. The sound it's making on the roof. I don't know if you can hear this on the webcast, the uh, sound effects mic, but uh, that is absolutely tipping it. And uh, Yes, I think God is uh, disagreeing with you here, John. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody up there is right. saying, hey, <laughs> scales, what sort of decisions are those? Now that I, I must, you know, obviously. Well, I don't know what you think, but no, I, I, I actually think, agree. I think. Do you? you? Know, I think those two, for me, um, uh, you know, I, w I was tied between the very final goal, Bradley Taylor well, final, and final Max one, Thompson. Yeah. They yeah. were both so similar. There was, you know, there was hardly anything between yeah. them. Both very similar. The, pre the the important thing for me is the pressure is on. Yeah. And it, it really was a question of, you know, they were behind. What are you going to do about it? And in both those situations, they did something about yeah. it. And it, yeah. you know, that's almost as good as scoring the goal. It's the situation. Somebody the stepping scoring. up and taking responsibility. And yeah, I mean, Austin Samuels, those two goals, they were they were fantastic. Real predatory Thierry Henry. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've had some. Well, it just sums it up, doesn't it? Just what a high quality tournament yeah. festival this be has been over the three days. I can't believe we're going out on a yeah. Now, I, I'm, I must let you like know this. that, uh, you know, this is almost like watching, you, you know when you watch Test Match Cricket and you can't believe how dark that players are going off, but yet on the camera, <laughs> we can you can see, see the pitch, can we? It is pitch black out there, I'm telling you. It is so dark. I, we, Me and John cannot really tell the numbers on the back of the Telford player shirts. These cameras are very expensive uh, pieces of equipment. And our cameramen, I'm telling you, have, have changed uh, how their cameras are operating to give us some brightness. But... Uh, Actually, it is pitch black out there, and he's absolutely tipping down. But Thomas Telford oh, concentrating with the. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to go out for a, a corner. Yep. That was. Uh, this is absolutely. That was Luke Ward getting in, in a good opportunity, the number four on the edge of the box, and then. I mean, it is absolutely tipping it down. It shows you the technology now. How you've got a picture <laughs> like that. Well, this is, this is top camera sphere, to be honest. But uh, you know, I've got to say, this is like, just like cricket. You know, when you see is players it? walking well, off. And you wonder why. And you wonder and then, why, then, isn't it? Yeah. And then you know, because you, you're watching on the TV, and you go, "Well, I can see this clearly." These cameras are, are you know, these are very expensive cameras. You, you know, Wayne Mooney would only be able to buy about <laughs> ten of them in a week. <laughs> <laughs> we Slowly never exactly talked well. about salary. I, I probably want to keep you in a good mood, John. I'm not going to talk about salaries and things. And, uh, oh, that's oh, a lovely this ball. Is a beautiful ball here. 
In fact, we have, me and John are having to watch it on the monitor for the first time because yeah. we can't actually tell what's going on on the pitch. <laughs> it's uh, absolutely horrific conditions out there. Getting forward, lovely ball through. They've got to be careful. Thomas Telford on the break like that. A bit loose. Yep. Zach Hartley with the throw. Matt Richards, and he wins the throw for Hove Park. And they go again. I was just thinking if I could adjust my eyesight, if I look down at the pitch for a little bit, but <laughs> it's gone. So dark. This is uh, still tipping it down out there. Very impressive to see how these cameras are managing to make this pitch look. Where, where are the floodlights at Reading? Are they in, in the stands? Or? Uh, yeah, I think they're all in the stands. Yeah, there's no... Uh, not on the uh, not above the uh, roofs, are they? Yeah, they're actually inside the... Yeah, they're all along here. They're just very, very powerful by the looks of it. Yes, they've taken them down. <laughs> they have, yeah. Just, Usually just you yeah. have them a little bit higher than this. It's uh, That's quite a lot. Well, that must be a nightmare for a centre-half like yourself when the night matches. And if the light, in fact, the lights are coming on. And I don't blame them because it is absolutely pitch black out there. Well, they are for us in the stands, I think. Are the floodlights coming I can, on? I can see a few lights coming on around. Yeah, oh, not, yes, they are. Yeah, they're, the they're, there they go on the uh, yeah, top of the roof. Just a flicker. Just see, just at the top there on that picture, yep. There you see the lights just starting to come on. <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, welcome to the British summer. Well, it has. It's the three days has summed the whole thing up. Yeah, that's one of our cameras that hasn't been changed, just showing how dark it is. All right, well, we've got a game on here, haven't we? Yes. Hove have got to find some way back into the game. Back on with the action. Uh, the floodlights start warming up, and we started to see a little bit of light on the pitch, thankfully. Uh, it's going to mess up our cameras that have just been adjusted to uh, the darkness, so uh, this pitch may start looking a little bit fluorescent while our cameramen uh, sort themselves out. Nothing like changing conditions. Well, we've just about seen everything now. It's only snow, but, you know, we're getting hail. It is quite cold out there. Uh, it's hail slash heavy rain. Here's come Hove Park, and... Good play. Ball's kept in for Telford. Richards leaves that to the left back. Del Yenzo. Little thing forward. Now they're vulnerable to the counter attack. To Arthur. He's on side oh, as well. He bends his run got well. Extra men on the right here, but the ball just runs through. Jermaine Turner arced his first run. Alan Creighton went with him and opened up the space over on this right-hand side, but the ball couldn't be fed through. But, uh, we've got sort of a third of the lights on, so we've not got full floodlights, but it's just uh, they're just trying to help out because it is ridiculously dark. Here's number 10, Callum Jenkins, who's taking all the free kicks for Hove Park. Lovely flick on by Hayden Roberts. There's a man on the back post here looking, uh, looking interested. It's Park just can't get the ball across at the moment. Stan Mosiel to Roberts. Back post is Janady. Wanted to drill that one across the face, really smash it across, see if he could get a ricochet. Somebody come in on the end. In the end, you can't really stand that up from that yeah. close to the goal. I read on the, uh, on the web this morning, uh, Wayne Rooney saying that he'd like to play midfield. Uh, he apparently, he played midfield for Manchester United yesterday and was... No, By all accounts, excellent. Yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, from well, I just saw the three goals. Sorry, but he scored the first and then then a, a, an assist. He won't be credited. I think it was. Yeah. But he was involved in the chip through, and then the second one, he was the assist, and it was a lovely ball through again from that deep lying area outside the box. Picked out Ashley Young and Rashford was picked out by Young on the knockback, I think. Scored another goal. I mean, there for him go. to have scored, I think it's something like approaching double figures. I think it's eight, nine goals for Rashford. Incredible, isn't it? To uh, Rooney, yeah, he, he sounds like he wants to play midfield. It just depends on the setup that Roy Hodgson's going to play. Yeah. Plays can accommodate him. I don't know. Hartley. Loose throw from the left back. It's a second bite. Park. 
not finding a lot of room in midfield at all. And that will be a free kick there. Come Creighton is brought to the floor. Yeah. Not pleasant conditions to play in at all here. This is more like sort of middle of winter. This is probably you know conditions of a fourth round match rather than the final. There's a deflection. And the keeper takes it comfortably. Yeah, Samuel Edwards with that ball just playing in there. Seeing Fenlon, number eight for Thomas Telford. I thought it's a lovely little ball through. Good touch here as well. And can he play it down the line? Here's Jermaine Turner. He's shown a bit of pace here. Callum Creighton. Um, Callum Creighton's on him. There's a chance. What a chance this is. Ball's played back. Must be a goal. And it is. Thomas Telford scored a second. And, uh, well, that was a wonderful ball across. Kian Finlan. Yeah. Kian Finlan scores. And Thomas Telford. Well, they've had a wonderful week here. In eight of the 15 finals, they've just won the uh, the girls' match that was uh, just sh just a short time ago. Well, it was a lovely cut back here, wasn't it, from the main Turner? There, the instinctive touch out, and then you think he's missed his opportunity. He's really fluffed his lines, <laughs> but good. Does presence, really, really well in the end, Liam Trawatha. Pull it back, have the yeah. posure, really, I suppose, after the disappointment of fluffing his lines in front of the keeper. Just pick out Ian Fenlon. Wonderful presence. And now Hove Park really have to score quickly here. 2-0 down. Still plenty of time to go. 43 minutes, so still a good half an hour left. That's what I like from uh, Thomas Telford, the way that they swept out from the midfield there and gets them Turner. back in another opportunity. And well, that just relieves the whole pressure. Main Taylor just giving a respite to those other players around, but it was the midfield that really broke forward and didn't just sit back and be content with the 2 0. And that's what we saw in the last game. The incredible Replay. turnaround in that. Uh, girls final well, he has two goals in injury time that was incredible five minutes injury time given lovely replay of that goal as, as I always remember uh, Ron Atkinson saying uh, it's, it's, it's ridiculous things you remember in certain situations when uh, Manchester United uh, conceded uh, another goal to Juventus in the semi-final of the Champions League in 99 and went uh, two goals down I always remember Ron Atkinson saying well it's a good time to go 2-0 down because you've got plenty of time to get back. <laughs> Better than going 2-0 down on 80 minutes. Yeah. And uh, in a way, Hove Park can still think, well, there's still plenty of time left here. Luke Ward uh, not really appreciating that challenge. He's not, but... Remember, isn't he on a booking? Oh, well, the referee, yes, he is on a booking. The referee says play on because... Well, that hit, be careful. The, hit the back of uh, Janady. Wasn't even looking. It was a loose free kick. Here's Matt Richards. Looks out. Looking in for Janady. Ball just skims off the surface. Telford threw players forward in those last few minutes. And here's the speed again of Jermaine Turner. Wonderful play from Callum Creighton, but Turner's got the ball back. He's really causing danger, goes for the shot himself. Goalkeeper Jacob Ockerson is uh, well there to claim that one. I like that from Turner. Twisted and turned, got himself on his left foot, pulled the trigger and it could have squeezed under the keeper. But quite Sorry. a battle at the back there, isn't it? With Crichton noticeably... Uh, Callum Creighton. Park noticeably pushing more men up. There's a heavy challenge there. But Thomas Telford players just come off a little bit worse to wear than number five, Ryan Millington. Just crunching tackles. Did uh, have a chat with uh, Westfield coach just not so long ago. No report from the hospital, actually, from Sonny, uh, Sonny Williams, who's uh, got a, a knee issue. 
Turner is totally on his own up here. It's a lovely layoff to Thomas Paul. Turner goes to the. He's opening up the legs here for the speed and a, a miss. Q now. Turner's got men in as well. Thomas Paul goes on the near post. That's a wonderful ball to the far post. Joe Arthur claims the corner. Wanted a bit more. Corner, isn't it? Yep. No, nothing more than that, but just try to chest it down. A substitution as well. well look, at, look at the speed here, and I think. Uh, well, it's a mistake from the defender, no yeah, question about Joe it. He got there. But then this ball in here is perfect, almost. Yeah. I think he's trying to open his body up just at the wrong time. I think he had time to have a stronger chest, yeah. sort of deaden the ball rather than trying to put it into his path because he was so tight to the goal that he needed to kill the ball. Kane as Obi comes on, number 12. Didn't see the number who was going off there. It's uh, pretty. Uh, Alan Telford just to hurry up there because we've had, we've had a substitution and the ball still isn't in the problem for the uh, corner to be taken. They go short yet again. Oh, lovely interplay. This is beautiful from Telford. Oh, so close to superb ball across, which would have really given them a chance of 3 0. Here comes. Callum Jenkins showing good pace, and here's the substitute is Obi. Oh, brilliant defending, look at that. What a tackle. Is that Ryan Millington. Yep. Ryan Millington, when well, he was hobbling around a little bit a few minutes ago, he's not hobbling anymore. You have to do well to get back there. Yeah. Been impressive, this number 10 for Hove Park. Callum yeah, Jenkins is he's in the middle of absolutely yep. everything they're doing, and he, he's getting back as well. Takes the corner, he's taking every corner, every free kick. Wasn't such a good one. It's had many commentator curses this week, actually. It's, uh, more than that. As far as the ESFA, these are, this is the the last of the uh, major finals. There's uh, the Danone finals at the King Power Stadium, Leicester, uh, for the, uh, the younger kids, the under 11s. Four matches on a pitch That's, uh, on Sunday. I'll be up there on Sunday. Yep. Hoping to uh, get up there. I, I believe uh, the powers that be at 24-7 haven't decided whether that one's uh, going to be covered yet, but uh, <laughs> it'd be nice to see you. We could uh, a little reunion. Do I cross by church over there? Might come for that, after all. So, uh, the English Schools FA, I think, deserve great credit for the way they've organised this again brilliantly with the 15 finals. It's been tight. We've had extra time. We've had... Uh, sorry, no extra time. We've had penalty shootouts. We've had injury time. It has knocked out the timing of stuff. Hope with the injury really well. I mean, full credit to the English Schools FA as well, actually, about and Reading Football Club and everybody who dealt with that that issue that we had earlier. Off to hospital. Oh, Jenkins has uh, got hit here, and Kian Fenland is going to get a yellow card for this. I don't know if you can see this on the replay, but uh, studs were up. One of those that, uh, here we go, let's have a look at this again. Look very nice. Oh, not too bad, actually. He's, you know, he's, his studs aren't up, so he's gone in a little bit on control, but there obviously has been some sort of contact. Yeah, just looking from the, the referees behind him, so he sees him going almost up, out of control. Here's a chance. Ball in. They've got to get to the bounce. They can't afford to let it bounce. Uh, Missed the chance. It's split seconds, isn't it? Telford get so many men behind the ball at the moment. There's only one man up for Telford. It's good skills here from Abu Hilal. Still putting the pressure on, and yeah, Telford just kicking anywhere. No, that's brilliant defending from Samuel Edwards, the right back. Saw it before. Stuck at it. Very quick to get back his position. Hilal, you'd have thought was the favourite there. Long throw. There he ends on his side of the pitch. His throw again doesn't come off. He's not had a good day as far as his throws are concerned. Jermaine Turner looks out left. That's a lovely spread out ball to offer. Plays into space. He's asking something there, isn't he? He was asking something. <laughs> but that was exactly what Jermaine Turner wanted. He sort of laid the ball off and then ran to that channel. You wouldn't have seen it on the screen. It's released a little bit too early. Yeah, yeah. It's fast, but that's ridiculous. 
welcomes Abu Hilal. Fair play to, to Hove Park, they, they, they are trying hard. Half chances. Okay, Thomas Telford, they just spread the ball so well, don't they? Here's Zach Hartley. Uh, Zobi, the substitute, has got, certainly got quite a bit of pace on him. And he covered uh, the left back easily there. This is a good little ball forward. That's a bit of a, a fierce challenge there. Janady. Referee. Happy to let that one go. A little bit of uh, feistiness between uh, Millington and Janady there. I think. Uh, I wouldn't have been a surprise if the referee had blown that one, actually. He did sort of go a little bit in con in controlled. The referee decides to have a little word. Look at this again. Oh, yeah. You've got to say that is a foul, really. You know, he's got he's just piled in. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I mean, yeah. I think they deal with it pretty well. Yeah, they square up. But there's... You know, I'm, great, I'm glad that there was no sort of butt or something, you know, headbutt. Uh, they looked uh, for a moment, but uh, no, you're going to get that in a game. You're going to get that in a game at this age as well. Oh, oh, so. oh no! It. And it's going to be goal number three for oh, Thomas Telford. Dear, oh dear. Individual mistake from the keeper, Jacob Octorson. And I think that's game set and match here. I can't see Hove Park. A lovely moment here. A number of players have gone through to the keeper. And, and you know, they basically picked him up off the ground and said, look, just well, it's worry. here, isn't it? You know, it's their own undoing, really. The flick on, it's come back to him. He, sh he should, and he knows he should have really held that. Think, no reason uh, why he shouldn't. But Taylor Gardner Hickman, very grateful for that one. Almost in a little bit of two minds, you could see that, that he almost didn't have his hands in a catch position. He was yeah. sort of half thinking of palming it, and in the end, he caught in two minds. And well, when that sort of thing happens, then you end up doing neither, and that's what happened there. Thomas Telford finishes their start with a win. But uh, three finals today. Lost the first one in that incredible 5 4 defeat to Bishop Stortford. What a match that was! That's uh, certainly my personal highlights of uh, these three days. Games like that don't come along very often. Uh, well, the girls had a win earlier, gained revenge over St Ivo. Incredible comeback from 2-0 down to win on penalties 5-4. So uh, two out of three today for Thomas Telford. Yesterday they were one out of two. Uh, blows the whistle there, so that's three out of five. And then on the first day, um, they won one and uh, won two and lost one. So five out of eight is uh, not a bad return from uh, this school's festival. And they certainly have shown themselves to be the dominant school's team in the country. This year, certainly. That's laid down the challenge for schools for next year. Have we see fresh faces? It's been it's been nice to see that. I mean, I think at least two teams I, I, I remember that hadn't played in the PlayStation Schools Cup tournaments before who have here and made the finals. Huge credit to them. That's a nice flick, and unfortunately they can't get through this back line. Finding it really hard work now, Hove Park. Played down the line. Been much in it, but enough. Telford, the Thomas Telford defence have been very, very good and as offside. Good lights are well and truly on. Well, the rain has uh, just stopped a little bit, but it's still just as dark. There was oh, very just look at the sky out there. <laughs> incredibly dark clouds all around us. Very dark clouds. Yeah, he's just coming back from an offside position. It looks there that he's onside. I'm sure, there it is out there. That's looking east, isn't it? Maybe not. 
That's from our position. Yeah, that's the view we get. We do have a camera here, which uh, we use for reverse angle shots, just to give a little bit of secret away. So as well as commentator, well, unfortunately, I don't get paid as an extra cameraman. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, when you see my back, when you're talking to me, it's because I'm moving that camera around, which you've worked out. Well, it is, um, you'd be also very pleased to know that this is the final time I'll be asking you for a play of the match shortly. 15 minutes to go, this is uh, again, getting earlier and earlier. I noticed Clive was asking you very early. He asked you 10 minutes before the end of the Did match. He? Yeah, well, he's picked up the habit from you that you put <laughs> me under pressure early. But, you know, like the, the... Oh, and here's a... Chance is a, a wonderful chance. Gotta be. Oh, oh, well played, well covered. I think it was just going wide in the end. Well, it was. That Janine, uh, Hayden uh, Roberts there. Uh, but eight. In fact, no, that was Jan uh, yes, Hayden Roberts, number nine. Sorry. Hayden Roberts, and then it was Kane Azobi, was it? Coming in at the far post. Maybe should have given it a little bit more, but I think he thought the fullback was going to get there or the ball was in. Well, that was going to go in past the keeper. And from long distance. Yeah, it's a little bit desperate from yeah. Abu Hilal. Their heads have just dropped a bit now, haven't they? Just sense it. Watch this again, you see. No, difficult to get a back lift. A little deflection. Luke Ward. But just going to have a little bit of a play here, just take his time. Time's totally on Thomas Telford's side. Whether um, the St Ivo girls are wondering whether they should have just eaten up the clock a little bit more. Here's uh, Thomas Paul. Oh, oh. He's, still, he's back in there. He's put so much work in. There's a shot from distance. Oh, oh, what a goal! Well, we've given the goal of the festival away. That would probably <laughs> have made the, the finalists. So, Kian Fenland scores goal number three, four. For Thomas Telford. Yeah, gets his second, doesn't he? Yeah. And, uh, well, what a shot this is. What a slow motion. Thank you. Yeah, he's sort of top the corner. Yeah. yeah, slow motion, sort of one of those goals there. Ball keepers. Think it's a good strike, really cleanly hit. Generates as much power, scoops it out a little bit. And the keeper, just one of those unfortunate ones that. Size of the goals, size of him, catches him unawares. Substitution. Can't keep it out, and that, I'm afraid, is it. It is. Number 11, Josh Gavington is on. And uh, number 14, Liam Turoffa, the captain, is off. So number 12 is coming on, Lawson Billingsley. In fact, there's substitutions galore taking place down here. This could take a little while. Number 13 and 15 are coming on for Hope Park. Lewis Stewart and uh, Yezin Abu Hilal coming off. Number two, Chris Symes. Well, that has put the uh, final nail in the coffin here for, for this match. Sure. I think the keeper was a bit unfortunate because he'd actually he'd stepped out yeah. for an attempt for a sort of a, there was a deflection just a, a few seconds earlier. So he'd come out to the edge of the six yard box and had still not got, gone all the way back. But you've got to say, a, a, a tremendous presence of mind from uh, Finland to, to see that yeah. and deliberately chip. And uh, I think that would have made our uh, final list of uh, potential goals, but uh, I still don't think it uh, beat any of the uh, top decisions. Here's uh, number six is uh, Glover for Thomas Telford. Just uh, going out there. It's number two, Samuel Edwards, who's coming off. Yeah. 12, Lawson Billingsley is on. I think that's just about everything. Ten minutes to go. Uh, this match is uh, sort of coming to a close. It allows us to have a little chat about other things as well as uh, tough would undoubtedly just play the clock down. Hove Park are going to give it a go here. Big match for Liverpool tonight, though, for sure, isn't there? Are That's you confident? A massive game. No, I am confident. You know, I think uh, Liverpool have shown this season that when they're at it they can beat anybody yeah um, and that's the bottom line I think what they've shown in especially the Europa League some fantastic nights at Anfield there's been comebacks we've seen oh here's a chance Abu Hilal oh, oh what saved. a save Jackson Smith in the goal he's not had a lot to do in this match 
when it mattered. Brilliant. Stood big. Yeah. Stood strong. Very good. Turn to the Gardner Hickman. Yeah. Bogged down there. It's getting very heavy the pitch in this yeah. centre area. All the way along. Oh, what a carrot for Liverpool tonight, isn't there? The, the oh, so, yeah. Champions League spot. So One much match at stake. Champions League yeah, spot. So much at stake. I mean, Sevilla is going to be such a tough opponent. Yeah. I mean, uh, Turner is down. Yeah. A bit of cramp. I must wonder whether. Oh. Um, I know Premier League play enough games that it is, but you know there was a there was a little pondering of uh, having a few games abroad. Of course, some mega money on offer uh, over in the Middle East and certain places, uh, and uh, you know you just wonder it's a playoff match for the Champions League at a neutral venue in the Middle East. I could see that working out nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the markets are so big; it's so popular. Yeah. English football around the world. Wherever you travel, it's story after story, and of course Leicester, remarkable story. And you see the the attention that it's got from yeah. from out west in America to out east in Thailand with <laughs> owners and yeah. the appetite they've got for the Premier League. I think as so many people around the world have been amazed by that story. Yeah. It's been refreshing for the Premier League as well. I do be careful that they don't make any promises that if AFC uh, get promotion this season you're going to come and do next season in your underpants or anything like that. <laughs> Gary Lineker, at, at least he's fit still. Yeah, <laughs> he's oh, you, at least he's fit. Oh, you're saying I'm not fit. <laughs> right. Well, no, no, you're, 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 you're as lean as you ever were, John. Nobody would want to see me, that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't made any promises about Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Um, hmm, John, turn John's my attention to uh, man of the match. <laughs> yes. Let me think you're distracting me, and I know the clock's ticking down. <laughs> oh, you're putting me under pressure. I mean, yes, this is where John goes into his little shell for a little while, starts lighting candles, and uh, <laughs> so gets a little uh, metaphysical tent around him. And I go solo for a little while, and then John asks me, Who do I think should get it? Uh, I, I've got to say, uh, from Hope, from Hope Ten, Park, I've been for, very impressed with Callum, Callum Jenkins. Jenkins. You know, they have lost yeah. this match. No, he's been but good. He has been absolutely excellent. Yep. Um, yeah, all I can't the way disagree through. with that. And um, you know, just because he's on the losing team doesn't mean that uh, you know he hasn't made an, a major impact on this match. Um, well, look, yes. I've still got the hangover of the last game. <laughs> I was. Sophie Bamford and Sadie Craig and Jessica Jennings, they were outstanding and yeah. they were losing 2-0 and I thought, well, go for the winning team as well, who clearly deserved it. Yeah. Just that remarkable turnaround. That run at the very end as well, you yeah. know, what, how incredible to do it under such pressure, knowing that that was probably the last move of the yeah. match, yeah. to put the head down and, you know, now what was probably one of the most difficult chances yeah. of the whole game. Here's Jennings again, who, who has just taken just about everything. He's got a lovely a left foot, hasn't he? Ball. He really has got a good yeah. delivery, and you see the time that he seems to have on the ball. Yeah. He just puts his foot on, just measures things, and then just ping. Total confidence in his strike of the ball and effortless. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. That, that's something that you know, you do notice with such you know good players. They they just make it look easy. He's uh, well, and and the point being that. Not only does he just rely on that skillful element, you know, he has got back and worked tirelessly for his team. Yeah. Do like that. Have another substitution below us. Um, for Thomas Telford, uh, personally, well, it, it's really the forward line, isn't it? Thomas, uh, Thomas Paul, the, the, yeah. the, the little lad up front who's worked tirelessly, but, you know, Kian Fenland, Jermaine Turner. Taylor Gardner Hickman, Liam Trewarfer, you know, have all been excellent. You know, they have all they been excellent. That's why it's so difficult to choose between them. Yeah. They've just spread the ball around yeah. so easily, haven't they? Yeah, and they've all chipped in with such a contribution to this victory. A real team effort. Luke Ward at the back, I think, has been great. Zach Hartley at times, Samuel Edwards. Samuel Edwards, I was just thinking about the delivery from those. Yeah. A couple of times from that right hand side. Dylan Miller comes on, and Joe Law, the captain. 
sits in the stands and a substitute here Adam Meller number 13 is coming on and it's uh, Thomas Paul well played Thomas high five with Des Little well done Thomas great uh, great performance Difficult one to choose. It's uh, Hove Park. Yep. To uh, get a consolation goal with just three minutes to go. Well, we did see uh, four goals from Thomas Telford this morning. You, you were watching this on the YouTube channel, you'll be able to flick backwards, but uh, we saw four goals in six minutes, I think it was. Three goals was. in three. Yep. Uh, it is possible. Thomas Telford were fired up having uh, had a, a, a long talking to from their coach. I never actually asked them afterwards what did they say. I may actually say, uh, ask them that this match. Uh, they have been wonderful. And just you know, the way they spray the ball out to the wings, you know, it's a big wide pitch and they really have used that so well. Of course, it helps the fact that uh, been, uh, they've had so many people on this pitch so far, you know, so many teams here that the coaching staff and other players can say to them, you know, the pitch is wide, do do use use the width. We've got the players there. Jermaine Turner, the young Trawarf has been fantastic on the left left wing. Uh, Taylor Gardner Hickman. Himself, but uh, this match is just meandering to a uh, little flick on Azobi here. Looking for well, the referee said that was okay. He's, he's making yeah. a ball, saying that the defender played the ball. The players are appealing for a pass back. Pass back. He's played that back. Knew what he was doing. I think. Yeah. This ball playing there outside the box, though. But he has, yeah. It's the tackle, isn't it? And maybe he's trying to slide out. Benefit the doubt. At this stage, uh, hardly matters now. Uh, your thoughts are in Basel, or, or should I say Baal? I never know if it's the French or German side, you should say. They'll probably say both. Ronnie's definitely struggling over man of the match. Yeah, I, well, I take that burden of responsibility seriously. Yeah. Um, here it's between, it's between Liam Trawatha, Jermaine Turner, Ian Fenlon. The rest of the team. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget Callum Jenkins as well, Callum who's Jenkins, on the ball yeah. now. Still marauding. Oh, this is wonderful skill from Jenkins. Well, you, you possibly heard that you were lulling over. Yeah, you thought, oh, it's time to step up. Time to... Uh, One final reminder to just show him what I'm about. Yeah. Uh, here's a replay this run. This is lovely skills from him. Has been the, the class act in the, the Hove Park team for sure. Corner comes in. Jenkins Ooh, is in there. Good goalkeeping. Now oh, he's alert, wasn't he, to the end? Yeah. Could have switched off in the final minute. Smith. Board is going up. Going to point it towards us. Come on. Four, Four minutes. minutes. Four minutes. Good lad. The main sudden four-minute board. Well, I hope you have enjoyed... I hope you have enjoyed our coverage here uh, from 24-7 on the PlayStation Schools Cup. We've covered a lot of matches, uh, various finals, county, team. Yep. Yeah, it's been uh, fantastic and, I mean, well done to everybody. English Schools FA, obviously PlayStation, they put on such a remarkable event here at Reading, thanks to Reading, the Majeski Stadium. You guys, 24-7, brilliant coverage. I've really enjoyed working with you again, like I did last year. But we've had fun, haven't we? No, it's been it's really been good, good fun. It's been great. Yeah, and uh, everybody, all the helpers, the coaches, the players, makes it for a, just a spectacular three days. We had Danny Rose and Jason Punchin here as well. Yeah. Um, Clive Tilsley. Oh, that's Clive a good Tilsley. one. Yeah. It's great this afternoon. Uh, it really has been. Say hi to me, Buckle. Very memorable, <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Uh. 
Oh, I've already joked. <laughs> lovely, lovely guy. <laughs> well, you're competition, aren't you? <laughs> they talk to you. Yeah, absolutely. He's obviously heard me. <laughs> so, John, uh, time is now. For the final time, you'll be relieved to know. Yeah. Please tell us who your man of the match is going to be. Yeah, well, I'm bored with keep saying it's a tough, tough decision, but it has <laughs> been again, and I think I'll get straight to the point. Jermaine Turner, number nine. There he is, look. <laughs> and he's even given us a dance. Oh, no, 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 and you won a PS4, and you're player of the player of the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Do you, oh, think he's, do you think he's happy with that? A bit of highlights reel, yep. I don't know where... Oh, you don't, you, I'll tell you what, you're not going to hear the last of it on the coach no, going I'm, down, I'm worried about that now, yeah, the rest of the teammates are not going to thank me for that one, are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's going he's to drive them mad. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. No, he deserves that. Really did play well, led the line well, scored a great goal. Well, he was basically up front on his own, yeah, running into spaces, and he was holding the ball up and waiting for others to come in. And These two players, four and eight, I mean, <laughs> they've been really good. Luke Ward. Too late now, Ian Fenland. <laughs> so no, so I want to so give them a mention because I think, you know, when you pick out a man of the match, it's always oh. that moment. Here's a chance. Good save. No, you're absolutely right. The, the, you know, the whole team has been excellent, hasn't yeah. it? And that's the thing with these Thomas Telford teams. Is there just isn't a weak player in the team, no. is there? He's no, been great, number five. Through. Ryan Millington, he's stepped in on every occasion he's needed to step in. He's been strong and aggressive when he's needed to be, not overstep the mark. Just had that one <laughs> the confrontation slightly, but... Um, no, right from the man, from the back, all the way through. Good performance. Hope oh, they've got to be proud of getting here to the final. Yep, they've had some big matches to get here. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Did they've, well. They've answered it. They, uh, they've just rolled into a very, very good Thomas Telford team. And, uh, well, you know, these teams, we're going to be seeing them in future years as well, aren't we? Yep. This, is the, this is the crazy thing that... Uh, these years progress and uh, they'll be playing in the next stage group. The referee has blown the whistle and the PlayStation Schools Cup Festival finishes with a Thomas Telford win. They've won five out of the 15 matches here this three days. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to watch some great talent come down from the Midlands but I think next season's going to be his first year. There's, uh, there's no Midlands representative in the Premier League, which uh, well. they might be dominating at school level, but, yeah, with Villa going down, it's, well, Leicester, I Leicester, suppose, East Midlands. Yeah. yeah, East Midlands. I don't think about it. I'm from Solihull area. <laughs> we only think about the West Midlands <laughs> and Midlands. Of course, yeah. East Midlands, uh, Leicester, Leicester haven't done too bad after this year. No, not too bad at all. <laughs> not too shabby. Well, John, it's been an absolute pleasure yep. working with you this right, thank you very much. last Enjoyed three it. days. Uh, thanks for everybody who's uh, tuned in. I think that's been a resounding success. Lovely celebrations. I think the fans themselves deserve huge credit. The players come <laughs> over and take the plaudits, but yeah. we've had some brilliant selfies. We have. We've had some brilliant engagement from the fans with their chants and their songs and the noise and the, the PAs. They've done an amazing job here, everybody together. And look at those celebrations. That man there, it's all finished for Des Little. Cool, he's had a three days, put his effort in. Sorry, John, let's have a look at those goals just to finish off. Yes, we have worked well together, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> Little flick, and then it's the missed chance to have the clearance, I suppose, and Jermaine Turner gets in on it. Look, doesn't go to sleep here. Always waiting to pounce. And has to put that one away. Finishes his really neatly and tidily. Can't talk. <laughs> there he is, running down the channel. You know, that was it. Has a little look up. You see that? That's, yeah. A dink, a dink. And he, I think he was always wanting to pull it back, but there was the composure. You think on the line it wasn't. He made a real hash of it, but then actually cut the ball back to Kian Fenlon. It's a step over dummy. Yeah. And then bang, puts that one away. And that was really the second goal that I think allowed them to have some sort of comfort. Both Park dropped their heads. Yeah, the keeper, you know, he'll know he should have done better. You have those moments and he's got to just pick himself up and get on with it. It's not a reflection on his ability at all. It's just one of those mad things. And you could say there again, the, 
bad defensive header from the free kick. But that's Taylor Gordon Hickman getting in on the action. And then finally, look at that. It's a bit of a shovel of a. I, mean, I don't want to do the disservice to the uh, shot. I mean, it's really good, good strike. But just does well to get it out of his feet and hits it over the keeper. Can't do anything about that one either. And got to feel sorry for him. Two of those goals on another day, he would have parried away. But emphatic win for Thomas Telford. Congratulations to them. They've had a great tournament over the three days. You've got to say, wonderful festival of football. I know you're going to go down for the presentation. So thank you very much and good night to everybody. Thank you very much, John. Uh, safe trip back uh, home to Wimbledon. Uh, you've got a match to get to, uh, which probably kicks off very shortly. I'm sure yeah. Five Live will be uh, blaring away on that car on the way home. Uh, John Scales, everybody. Uh, really great pleasure to, to have John here. And uh, we're going to cover the presentation. I'm going to head down to talk to, to both coaches, uh, both team managers. They're in their huddles and uh, having their final words of wisdom. And uh, if we do uh, cover, there's the, there he is. Very happy. Oh, I've just won a PlayStation 4. Get that later. So, uh, yeah, may even see you Sunday, John, up at King Power if we, uh, if we do come up. That, uh, that decision is pending. Um, Dean matches is quite a lot to cover <laughs> in three days. Take care, John. John's off into the night. He's got a match to watch. He's uh, still a big Liverpool fan, of course, played uh, so many times for Liverpool. Won a League Cup with them in 1995. And uh, I head down there now. Back shortly.
Uh, Mark Pulling, team manager here for Hove Park. Uh, just give us a summary of uh, today's experience for your boys. Um, yeah, I think they've really enjoyed themselves. It's uh, always an sort of outstanding occasion when you get to a National Cup final. The results are always a little bit tough to take when you get this far in a competition, but um, you know, when you when you go 2-0 down, maybe to a bit of a controversial goal, it might have been offside from the video replay. You're always chasing, so you you either stick and you just stay at 2-0, or you try and go for it, and that's that's what we do. Because if you want to win, you've got to try and score. We, we said in commentary, myself and John Scales were up there, and we said in commentary that you know the, the half chances that came Telford's way were converted, the half chances that went your way, sometimes the ball just wouldn't come down. You know, and it it just was one of those days in football, wasn't it? That happens. I mean, there's. I mean, we've scored in every round, obviously, this year, more than sort of three most years. And, uh, <laughs> enough. <laughs> I deserve that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I get me. I didn't say it was coming. No, I mean, we've, we've played in three finals this year. We're, we're county champions in Sussex, um, deserved that. And obviously we won that 2-0. Well, we, you know, we, we are a high-scoring team, and unfortunately, like you say, the ball just didn't sit for us in the box today, and the half chances they put away, and we just couldn't take them. And the conditions were pretty horrendous out there as well. You know, started off okay, and then the, the rain really came down. It was difficult for everybody to play, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But that's proper fo English football conditions, isn't it? The pitch is cut up a bit. <laughs> it's nice to play in, yeah. and um, I would have lo loved it if I was a kid out there, and that sliding about today would have been brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely. What next to these boys? Go and have a rest. Come and do it next season. Another rest. Yeah. I mean, we we went deep in the other national cup, the um, yeah, a full national that. cup this year as well. Um, and we're, we're having another go. I mean, we we have only got one academy player in our team, uh, and I know the other teams we played against all the way to the final probably had three or four, especially in the open one, which is even harder because you're allowed more academy players. Yes. So for us to even to get to this to get to this stage is a massive achievement okay. yeah. yeah and a lot of teams have entered this so yeah. you can be truly proud of yourself yeah. and the lads here you know they've done great they've rolled into an incredibly impressive team but you know I, I just think you know hats off to you you've represented your area very well and uh, you know well done thank you very much for talking to us cheers thank, thank you very much Jess Thomas, team manager for what was a very incredibly impressive Thomas Telford here today. You must be thrilled with the performance. Yeah, the lads are brilliant. So on a difficult surface at times, I tried to pass it quite nicely because the opposition were quite big, strong and athletic and we're not as big as side in the world, but they got it down, they passed it around them at times today. So yeah, really happy. Myself and John Scales were in the commentary box and you know we were noticing early on how how well you pass the ball from one side of the pitch to the other. Just two or three simple passes and suddenly, you know, the other team aren't able to set quickly enough. You know, that is, 
that just ability alone on a difficult pitch is, is, is special, isn't it? Yeah, we always try and encourage the boys if, the, if it's tight in one area of the pitch, you try and work it across the pitch to where the space is. So we work a lot on sort of taking it with your back foot so you get, get opportunity to go the opposite way. So the space on the big pitch especially, the space is obviously on the other side, so there's a throw in this side, let's get it out the other side quickly. Yeah. So we work on it quite well and the lads executed it. Your home pitch at Thomas Telford must have no grass on whatsoever. The amount of teams and matches you've played is absolutely incredible. Luckily, we've got an AstroTurf, so, uh, <laughs> so we're OK. <laughs> also, we have got a grass one as well, but we, we do hammer the AstroTurf. Yeah. That's hence why we like to pass it. It's yeah. one, of the, one of the new 4G ones, and we obviously pass it quite nicely, aren't we? I've got to come along there. We're based in Solihull, so we're just up the road. We've got to come and do a bit of filming there, because it is quite incredible what you guys have done. Um, the coaching team, you know, Des Little has been working himself to the bone here this week. Um, and the other's crew, you know, it is incredible that, uh, you know, you, you have a series of different team managers, but then the coaching team all do their work with you. And it, yeah. it must be quite difficult uh, intertwining all the all the sort of um, the schedule in there. It's almost like a school timetable well, itself. It is really, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, but we all, all each PE teacher looks after the year group. Obviously, Des comes along and helps us being the head of football. And uh, myself and Des do the under 18 team as well. But... And then the main thing is we all try and play the same way. So we look after our coaching. The philosophy comes from the same same method. And we just, as you've probably seen, we try and get it down and pass the football. Absolutely. Well, you'll love the fact that John Scales said you were the Barcelona of uh, English schools because he had said that you did try and play the same way. And it was uh, uh, you know, apparent all the way through from young, young to old, they were all playing good football. Um, are you going to stay with this team for the next year now? Yeah, that'll be me. I've had them since year seven because we won it in year seven, actually. Yeah. We won it in year seven here. Did, uh, didn't make it in year eight. Lost the eventual winners, actually, in year eight. So hopefully we'll be back down next year. Wonderful. Well, safe journey back up. Uh, that coach is going to be rocking. The girls won in uh, superb yeah, style. <laughs> and you're all on us. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yeah, you've got, there's not many shy boys in your team either, is there? So it's, it's going to be good fun tonight. Have a safe journey. Thanks for talking to us. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Thank you.